Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Drill Deal, which is a game all about deep sea oil drilling, a topic that I know very little about if I'm completely honest. I mean I know the basics, I know that they take an oil rig and they put it out in the sea over where they found some oil and then they drill down into the oil and it goes back up onto the oil rig and people live on the oil rig and that's kind of about the limit of my knowledge of deep sea oil drilling so hopefully I can learn quickly so I can figure out what's going on so we will have an oil rig and we need to manage what's going on there so what it's producing and what the staff are up to and all the business contracts and all the buildings that we can place down and all that kind of stuff with the idea being to make lots of lovely cash and turn a very nice profit now this is the alpha version of the game as you can see on the screen there so it's not finished and there might be a few bugs here and there and also the game is not out yet either it's set to coming soon on steam apparently but of course if you're interested there is a link to the steam store page in the video description below so you can go and wishlist it and check it out and so on and so forth and we were given a key to this by the devs which is splendid so thank you very much devs that is very very kind so I think let's get on with it shall we let's go and do some deep sea oil drilling Okay, so I've done the tutorial and we only have a choice of one level in the alpha version right now and it's the very weirdly named Jack Torpedo. What does that mean? Expand your oil rig in pirate waters. That doesn't sound ideal. Why must there be pirates? Why can't we start over here in blissful utopia? I'd rather start there, please. It sounds lovely. Uh, okay, fine. So we'll start over here on the Jack Torpedo level where there's going to be pirates. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so here we go, and we've got our mission brief type thing just here. So it says, manage our company's new investment. It is a platform in a tropical climate. It sounds very lovely. These waters are calm, except for Captain Jack Torpedo, excellent pirate name, who has recently begun extorting ransom on nearby ships. Okay, brilliant. So we've come to a really nice place. Unfortunately, there is a slightly mean pirate who's going around trying to rob everybody. But yeah, that's kind of what pirates do. I think we should have come to expect that. Okay, so what's next? Main objective, achieve platform level six. Okay, the platform level is over there. And when we build buildings and do various bits and bobs, we do get ourselves points to increase the platform level. And then the secondary objectives, defeat Captain Jack Torpedo and produce and sell 200 units of asphalt. Okay, right, that's fine. I mean, they're quite differing objectives. Uh, get a platform up to a certain level, uh, defeat a pirate, and sell some stuff to make roads with. Okay, that's fine. We can get on with that. Uh, build more buildings to raise your platform level. Gotcha. And build heavy oil refining plant to produce asphalt. Okay, right. So here we go. So there's our oil rig. It looks very nice. It's in a very nice location. There's some nice islands around. There's, I don't know what that is. What's that floating around in the sea? Uh, okay. It looks a little bit like a, it looks a little bit like a kind of mine. Okay. Hopefully that will not trouble us any. Um, I can't even notice over there. There is, hang on, if I just unpause it, and spacebar is pause, everybody, very important. If I unpause that, is that a giant kind of octopus thing? Yeah, there's a huge kraken over there. Okay, fine. Uh, right, let's ignore the kraken and the potential explody mine thing. Let's go and have a look at our oil rig, because it looks a little bit, it looks a little bit basic. So we've got ourselves a kind of, what's that, like a sort of elevatory lift thing? A shipyard. Okay, so yeah, ships will come here, put stuff on that, then it'll go up to the top and we can get it onto the top of the main sort of uh, oil rig platform. And there's nothing else on it apart from obviously the middle bit, which is the important bit, which is the drill. So that drill then goes and gets us crude oil, I believe. And then we need to do lots of refining and various other bits and bobs on it to turn it into other things. Okay, and that's it. That's all you've given us. So we've got nothing going on. So we've got 60 power that's unused. So that's absolutely fine. So we've got a little bit of power. You know, it's plugged in and we have no employees. Right. Okay. I feel like you've not really prepared this very well, but okie dokie. And then we've got 4,400 money. We've got some building blocks and we have some food ingredients for our people and a bit of water and a bit of gas as well. Okay, fine. Right. Let's maybe get an employee in. So they can work on the big drill thing and we jigger in the middle so we can at least get ourselves some oil. Because, you know, it's an oil rig at the moment. We're not getting any oil. <laughs> so really at the moment, it's just a rig, which doesn't make us any money, which is terrible. So let's go to here, go to the recruitment center. Now, how do we know who is good at doing drilling? Well, that's, that's cooking. That's refinery production. Drill handling. Owen Kowalski. You want 46 per day of your monies. Uh, nobody else can do drill handling by the look of it. None of the other people can do drill handling. That's not wonderful, is it? Okay, well, we'll hire you, Owen, for now. 
Okay, so Owen should then presumably... Uh, no, Owen hasn't arrived by boat. Owen has just beamed straight onto the platform. So let's now assign Owen to this. So there's day shifts and night shifts. At the moment, it's clearly daytime. So we'll pop you into there. So you go into there. And if I unpause it, you should then pretty much immediately go over and start working on this. And we should see some crude oil coming in. Which is good, because that means we can uh, you know, we can either sell it if we want to, or we can go and turn it into other things eventually. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know how long it takes. Well, there we go. We've got 70 crude oil. So we're off to a, off to a nice sort of solid start. Now, I think maybe we need to get some stuff in for the rest of the staff, because there are sort of staff buildings. And yeah, we've, we've got one person here at the minute, and when they finish work... When it gets to night time and the night shift begin, uh, poor Owen is just going to be wandering around on this platform <laughs> on his own, feeling a bit sad. So how about we build some social buildings? So yeah, employee quarters. Let's put one of those down. So these all require their money for these. Some require money and some require building blocks, I think. So 600 money for that. Um, a canteen would probably be a good idea, so we don't all kind of starve to death. So... Putting that next to the staff quarters makes a bit of sense. And then there's a kitchen as well, which, oh, hang on, wrong button, which we might as well put next to the cafeteria so they can cook the food. Now, I know, just put it through the you know, hatch down the side or something. So, yeah, okay, put those there. And um, what does a workshop do? Maintenance building. Employees working here repair nearby buildings. Oh, that sounds quite good. Oh, that sounds useful. Let's put that there. Um, and then... There is, is there an entertainment building? I swear it said there was a cinema. Um, ah, no, we need a certain level of research for that. Okay, yeah, so they do get bored. So we can put down cinemas and gyms and things. Okay, right. So we'll unpause and we'll watch these things appear in their lovely little sort of voxely blocky sort of stuff. Okay, so we have four things and we've used up quite a chunk of our power now. We've used up a bit of power, so 40 out of 60 power. I don't like that in the background. I keep thinking it's going to drift toward us and explode. That's generally bad. Oh, but look. Look, there is oil. We've hit oil, everybody. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh, right, let's get some other people in. Let's get some other people in. I mean, we could do... We need a cook, eventually, because we're going to run out of these meals. So we could get you in. Uh, Nolan Hill. We could get you in to just do some cooking. That would be quite good. Um, so, or do we get somebody else in who's a bit multitasked? You do cost a bit more money. You do cost a bit more money. Um, let's just get you in. You cost 60. We'll hire you and we'll put you into there. Oh, look, and now we can have seven employees. Okay, that's that's very exciting. Maybe because we've got a quarters for them to live in. So, uh, yeah, you, day shift, Nolan, go into there. You can work in the kitchen. Okay, and then do we hire another employee um, who's good at, I don't know, fixing stuff, chemicals, cooking, engineering, possibly? Um, Connor Carter. We'll hire you, Connor Carter. You can go and work in the day shift in there. You, There you go. It is engineering. Fixing stuff is engineering. Yay, there we go. Oh, and it, it mends all that stuff in that range. Oh, that's pretty good. It's actually quite a good range. It's only going to miss stuff in this corner. Okay, right. So we've got three employees. Now, we are losing 160 a day. So we need to start making some money. We do have some... Ah, we've maxed out our crude oil already. So maybe we need to build some sort of refinery building. So let's get a refinery in. And they're going to refine the crude oil and turn it into gas, fuel and heavy oil and various other bits and bobs. So let's put that there. That seems like a good thing. Hooray! And we've got oil rig level two, which is good. So yeah, it must be... I don't know how many points do you find out. How many points does it give you? Like, I don't know how many points we've got from constructing these things. Um, okay, thanks. And we need 40 points to get to the next level. And we could probably do that relatively easily, I would have thought. But there we go. Right, we'll get this constructed. And then we need to put somebody in there because we've maxed out crude oil. We can't gather any more crude oil. We have, we've got to our limit. Um, okay, so the refinery is complete. Now, how does this work? Chemical production, uh, security, refinery production. Okay, um, Ian Williams. Ian Williams, you come in and, um, yeah, you can go and work in there, please. In the day, um, Ian. Oh, yeah, Owen's quite good at that as well. Owen's quite good at doing that as well. But he's he's the drill man. He's drill man. Okay, Ian, there you go. You can work in the refinery in the daytime. 
Yeah, we've got no staff at night time and our pool of staff is, is very minimal. I wonder when that goes up, when that changes and refreshes. I'm not entirely sure. Everyone's just sort of mooching around at the moment, just looking a bit sad. <laughs> okay, how about the tech tree? Um, basic rig production, 20% to drill efficiency. It's only 200 money. Yeah, let's get that. Why not? I kind of want to get entertainment stuff. Because at the moment, they're just, they're just a bit bored. They're just a bit bored. Um, hang on, hang on. Employees? We can have basic employees. New employees for hire will have a higher chance for two skill. That's for 200 money. Oh, we'll do that. Absolutely. And then employees care. Um, yeah. Ah, entertainment one is down there. That unlocks the cinema. Ah, but we are running a bit short on the monies. Um, hang on. Where's the... There's a contract thing somewhere just there. We can sell stuff. So we can sell gas. We can sell 200 gas for... Is that a six or an eight? That's a little bit unclear. I think it might be a 600. So we could make quite a bit of money from selling a big chunk of gas off to malt standard. These are quick contracts we can just do, like a quick and dirty deal. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. So yes, we'll sell 200 units of gas for 600 because we're not using it for anything else. Okay, that makes our bank balance look a little bit nicer. Um, and we can't sell gasoline and we can't sell solid fuel. Okay, right. Move time on then. Uh, oh, we're out of... Oh, power. Right, we need some power. Hang on a minute. Where was that? Small gas generator. Uh, let's put that right next to that thing just there. And then we might also want to build some storage things as well. We might want to build some of these just so we can store stuff. Like a crude oil container would be quite a good thing. Why don't we put one of them... Uh, I don't know. Why don't we put it next to that thing just there? So crude oil. Yay. There we go. We'll put that there. And then a refined oils container as well. We'll pop that just there. We are running very low on building blocks. How do we acquire building blocks? I'm not entirely sure how we get them acquired. Maybe do we order them in or something? Well, there we go. We've got various bits and bobs done. And yeah, there we go. We can now get... Uh, that's working. But of course, yeah, it's, it's night time. It's night time, so nobody's doing anything on the night shift because we've not got people to do that yet. Have we got any more sort of uh, people around? No, nobody that we can hire that's different to what we had before. Okay, I mean, we can move time on. We can speed time on to get through the night shift when nobody's doing anything. So let's get to daytime. When food ingredients or building materials are low, order them in the orders panel. Yeah, it's that thing down there. So food ingredients are looking a little bit low. They're looking a little bit low. So how about, I saw there was a food storage thing somewhere. Was it in there? Um, oh no, we've got no, we've actually got no building materials to build anything at all. Okay, um, let's get ourselves uh, there. Let's get ourselves some building blocks, shall we? So how about, hang on, can we just do that as a slider? What if we buy our, oh, that's, that's very expensive. That's very expensive. <laughs> we might need to make some more money first. Let's buy... How about we go yes for that and then uh, we go, let's buy, oh, this is going to be costly. This is going to be costly. 20 of those. So 20 food ingredients and 50 building blocks for 900 of our monies. Okay, I feel like that's that's made us very poor. Um, can we go and look at the contracts and see if we can sell anything? Have we got 204 gas? No, we have not. Oh dear. Okay, fine. Let's let them get on with doing some stuff. They can get on with buildings and you know, getting the oil out, and then you can get on with refining stuff. So yeah, we're going to be making fuel oil and gas and heavy oil. Okay, this is all good. These are all good things that we can use in trades. Okay, maybe we just need to sort of run time on a bit and just let that tick on by, because then yeah, at some point we probably are going to be able to sell these things as part of contracts and what have you. I mean, yeah, gasoline is ticking up. And if we sell 204 gasoline, if we sell 204, we get ourselves 1,020 monies. That is very good. That's quite nice. I'll gladly take that. Um, solid fuel and gas is just slowly creeping. Actually, the next lot of gas coming in. Yeah, let's do this. Let's sell that gas. 204 units, 612 monies. Yes, please. That has just doubled our funds, which is brilliant. Oh, there's a boat. Hello, boat. So the food ingredients have been unloaded and the building blocks have also been unloaded, I assume. Yay, there we go. Right, so we can build some more stuff 
and we can actually make some more food. Although we have maxed out our meals now. We've maxed out our meals, which I suppose is a good thing. I think that's probably a good thing. So nobody's going to go hungry on our lovely little blocky oil rig. Oh, this is good. We've got more employees. We can pick more people. Okay, let's have a little look then. I mean, we might want to get a chemical production thing in at some point. Uh, let's get somebody in that can do the... I mean, yeah, you're quite good at doing the drilling. Drill handling of two stars. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Owen here only has one star. So maybe we could take Owen out. Oh, no, hang on. We could have both. And one of them could work on the day and one could work at night. Although, to be fair, our crude oil is is quite high anyway. I think we need somebody in here. We need somebody in the refinery to refine stuff at night time. So who can do that? Who's good at refinery production? Michael Kent is very good at that. Um, Luke Jones is also good at that and many other things as well. Luke, I think we'll hire you. And you can immediately, Luke, go into there and start refining things at night time as well which is splendid. So there we go. So if we unpause, we should then see Luke go into here and Luke will continue to generate lots of things, which is great. That's precisely what we want. And yeah, because he's a bit better, he's going to do that a little tiny bit quicker as well, which is splendid. So there we go. Right, got a night shift in for one of our buildings. Now, what are we making? What are we making? Gasoline of 200, crude oil coming down. But in contracts, yeah, they wanted... 204 gasoline. We can give them that for 1,000 money. We are paying quite a lot of money out in wages. So let's do that for a nice quick deal. Yes. We just made quite a big pile of monies. Uh, and then let's have a look at these as well. So we've got crude oil. These are, these are long-standing deals. So these are just quick one-off things. These are things that we can do that you know carry on for a certain amount of time. So we could say... What's that? That's crude oil. We could say, we'll give you... How much crude oil do we make? We make... Uh, we make... Oh, we lose... Hang on, what do we do? We're... Oh, we're taking 1,000 crude oil, but we're... To, no, no. We're, we're producing 684, but we're using 1,000. Oh, so we've got a net deficit of crude oil. Oh, dear. Right, hang on. Hang on. Can we hire somebody to go and work on the drill, please? <laughs> Nicholas Smart... You're in. Come and do some drilling at night time, Nick. There you go. Mr. Smart, in you come. Do some drilling, please. That would be splendid for us. Okay, now what are we doing? So we're making 308 per day. So we could go down to the contracts and say, okay, let's give you 100 crude oil per day. And what does that get us? So what does that get us? Overall revenue of 510. So an income of 170. Is that it? Per day. So if we do that, sell 100 units of crude oil for three days. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right, isn't it? Overall revenue, 510. That looks... I think that looks fine. I think that's... Yeah, okay. We'll just say yes, because that's probably a good thing. So hooray, so we've done a deal. And then down here as well, gasoline. Now, how much of this are we making? We're making 424 per day. We won't offer it all, I don't think. But what if we offered them 150? Let's go nice and sort of nice and conservative with that for now. 150 per day and did that as a deal. So overall revenue would be 1,560. Income per day, 780 if we did that. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes, please. Right, we're actually going to turn a profit, everybody. <laughs> we're going to turn a profit for the first time in a long time. Why is there a thing? Oh, I thought that was telling me there was something going wrong there. Um, Oh, there's a star. What does that do? Oh, that's our objectives. Okay, fine. Right, there we go. So we've got lots of people on board. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to build ourselves an advanced kind of refinery building thing, don't we? So we can get that asphalt produced. Um, where is all that stuff going to be? I don't know where all that's... Uh, is it in here somewhere? Yeah, we need to uh, We need to do some sort of uh, tech research stuff. We need to get some of that stuff done. Where was that? Yay! 780 monies. Entertainment bonus. Yes, I know, I know. Actually, do you know what? We need to do that now or our employees will be very grumpy. So we'll get employee care for 200 money and we will get entertainment one for 800 monies. So yay, there we go. And then we'll put one of those in for you. Lovely employees, don't you worry. We'll look after you. Uh, let's pop it, uh, I don't know, right there. There we go. 
and that should keep them happy. So when they wander into there, that will increase their happiness. However, we have run out of power, which is unfortunate. Okay, small gas generator going in just there. Does it matter if it goes next to the the sort of, uh, yeah, the uh, whatever that is, workshop or anything? Do they care? I don't imagine they give two hoots as long as there's power. Oh, crikey, we're already on level three. Okay, splendid. Hurrah. How many more points we need to get? 60 points to the next level. Is there a clue as to how many points it actually gives you when you build one of these things? Is there a clue? Does it does it tell you how many points we get from doing this? <laughs> I don't know if it does. I'm not entirely sure it does. Um, but there we go. So we've got a cinema and we're making a bit of money, which is lovely. So um, at the moment, things are looking good, but we just need to save up a bit of cash, I think. We need to save up a little bit of money just so we can do various researchy things. Okay, this is what we need to unlock. We need to unlock oil basic production and then that leads down to heavy oil refining and that's what we want. So we want to get ourselves the heavy oil refining plant and the asphalt container because that's part of our goal. However, they are quite expensive. They're quite costly things. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, can we do some quick contracts with anything else? Can we do one of these? Um, how about gas? Yeah, we've maxed out on gas again. We, yeah, we'll just do that deal with you. Might as well get 612 money out of it because the gas isn't doing anything else. We just keep maxing out on it. Um, is it worth building? Can we build a gas container? Is that something we can build? Um, yes, but not yet. We need advanced gas production one. Okay, never mind. And these are the things we probably do want to keep. There. Solid fuel. So how do we make solid fuel? I don't know how we do that. And then, yeah, the gasoline we might want to... We might want to keep so we can keep our um, our long-standing deal going. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? We don't want to sort of go, yay, have all this have all this gasoline. And then our people come up that we sign a contract with and go, hi, where's the gas? And we go, ah, <laughs> we might have sold it to some other people. Sorry, bye-bye. So, um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll not do that. But we have now got a bit of money. So we could do oil basic production. We can't quite afford that right now. But now we can again. But we are losing a bit of money. Oh, crikey. Oil basic production is done. Repay your buildings. Uh, yep. Okay. We've done that. We've got that done. And then let's get this in. Heavy oil refining. Yes. We'll do that right now. So yes. And that. And that contract is complete. Okay. We'll go and do another contract then. So Trans India is done. And we've still got loads. How much do we make per day? 424. How about we give you 300. Let's do that, shall we? 300, which means, oh, we make so much money per day on that. Yes, 300 units of gasoline for three days. Absolutely, yes, please. Also, we've maxed out fuel oil. Can we can we turn that into anything? I don't really know. Like, this is it, like, all this stuff. I don't really know what it is. Like, is fuel oil different to fuel? I don't know. <laughs> and heavy oil. Uh, okay. Sulfur's like that smelly stuff. Solid fuel, I'm not fully sure. Ethylene is a kind of gas. Um, okay, uh, right. So we've got ourselves a tiny bit of money, but we are going to make quite a lot of money tomorrow. How much now is it to build um, one of those things? Requires more resources. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? We need 1,200 money, which we don't have, and 40 building blocks. So we've got the building blocks. We have the building blocks. We just don't have the money right now. Can we do a quick a quick contract thing? Can we sell the gas again? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sell the gas. It's absolutely fine. I think we need to find a way to make solid fuel because these people up here are always after solid fuel. How do we do that? Oh, it's right down here. It's going to be really expensive. It's going to be really, really expensive to get that. So we're going to need to spend 2,000 to get advanced oil refining one and then spend goodness knows what to get fast basic production to do that. So yeah, that's not going to be happening at any point soon. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, is there anything else we can sort of treat people to? Simple bedrooms. Oh, we can't even can't afford much at the moment. We can't afford much. Do you know what? Let's just let's just speed it through a couple of days, maybe, just to give us a big pile of money. That might be quite nice. If we had a big pile of money, that would be very handy. Watch out for Jack Torpedo. The nearby waters are plagued by a terrible pirate. The management will unlock turret building technology if it sees pirates attack too often. Why can't you just do it now? Why can't you unlock turret building technology right now? Where even is that? I'm not even sure where that is. Okay, so we've completed that contract with the Perto France company. Okie dokie, thank you very much. So now let's go back and do that again. But crude oil, yeah, we acquire 
quite a bit of that. So why don't we give them, put that up to 250 possibly? That might be quite good for us. So 250, that gets us 450 monies per day. We'll do that deal. Yes, please. We'll also get ourselves some basic money from selling that gas that we're not using anything else. You're not using it for anything else. So, okay. We've now got 3,282 money, which is good. Uh, can we store fuel oil? Is there a container for fuel oil? Crude oil, asphalt container. Ah, how about we get this thing in the heavy oil refining plant oh it's absolutely massive oh crikey okay yeah that is that is big um let's pop that there and we've got oil rig level four and two more reputation thanks so what do we need next another 40 points to the next level it's not even built yet it's not even built yet um how, how do we where's the turret technology where's that um, is it in maintenance? Is it security? Ah! Oh, it costs us a thousand. Basic defense tower can be fired manually at enemies like pirates to destroy them. I mean, can we just do that anyway? We're going to get 1,751 tomorrow. We are going to need some more employees. Ah, I did see over here. More employees. No, where was it? Employee care? Simple bedrooms. Unlocks an upgrade for the building. So, a simple sleeping place for five employees gives a small bonus to employee work satisfaction. It's very expensive, but it does mean we can get more workers here, which I think is what we're going to need. Oh, we're, at, we're out of power. I think we might need to possibly invest in some power. Um, can we... Uh, is it maintenance? Can we get better power? Now, a lot of these things are not available in the thing right now. They're not available in the alpha. So, yeah, all these things with the little sort of no-go circle are not available. So, there's not too much that we can get. Um, yeah, could we... Increases base power available by 20. Oh, well, that, that'll help. Yeah, let's have that anyway. And then advance. Yep, yeah, thanks. Um, and then energy stuff. Yeah, unlocks an upgrade for the building. Produces electric. Yeah, let's get that for 1,500. Ooh, that's quite expensive. We probably do need to do that, though. Okay, well, there you go. We've just done it. So there we go. We don't have much money left. We can't do much in the way of these contracts right now. So we're going to need to leave just time to pass. We're going to need to leave money to roll in. Um, so we can't do anything. Yeah, that's not working. And we can't hire another person either right now. Because that, be, that would be silly. So let's not do that. So yeah, we're short on power. That's fine. When we get some more money, we get some more cash, we will invest in an upgraded power thingamajigger and then we'll get this building up and running. We can create some asphalt, then we can get defense towers, and then hopefully we can fight away the pirate and take a glorious victory with our lovely little oil rig as well. Okay, let's do some more contracts. So yeah, we'll do that one for the gas. Thank you very much. That's quite nice. So yeah, now with our daily pay, we've got 2,569 money. That's much better. And we could... I think we could push that. I think we could do that. Give these guys at Atlantic 212 of our gas, gasoline, sorry, um, for 1,000 money. Yeah, do that. Yes, please. That would be good. Right, we need to order some building blocks, I believe. I think we need to order quite a few building blocks. So grab, I don't know, 100. That'll do. That's going to cost us 1,000. So an 1,100 for the actual shipping cost. Um, have we got ingredients? We've got many food ingredients either. So let's just grab, I don't know, how many of those do we need? 20 possibly for now? Yeah, there we go. That'll do 1,400 of our money on basic kind of things. And then what else do we want to do? So we want to upgrade. Uh, no, not, no, not that. Not the refinery. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. You, power thing. How do we upgrade you? There, all requirements are met. It's going to cost us 600 monies. Okay, do that. Upgrade that. So now we've got no power at all. But there we go. Now we've got a medium gas generator, which means that thing can now function, which is good. Um, right, also, let's go and get the thing that gives us a boost to our employee quarters. That was an employee care. Simple bedrooms, 1,200. Oh, everything's so expensive. I just want massive piles of cash. <laughs> can I have loads of money, please? Um, do we do that? don't think we do. Let's get somebody working in here. Let's find another employee who is good at refinery stuff. In fact, no, no, it's not refinery, is it? Is it chemical? Uh, what are you doing? It's uh, the, the drops. Uh, no, it is. It's heavy oil refinery. Okay. 
Uh, so yes, uh, we will have. Is it simple production? I don't know. I want the one that one. I want refinery production, please. Oh, hang on. How do we? Ch there's a, that's the drill thing. I don't want that. How do we just put it onto advanced production? Ah, there we go. Right, refinery production. 61 or 69, but you do more stuff just in case we need you to. And you can man the drill. Sebastian Jones, in you come, my good sir. And you can go on the day shift into there. You can go and work on the heavy oil refining plant. Okay, lovely. So now that's going to start making... Uh, that's going to make asphalt out of the heavy oil. Um, and so I think we need a storage container for that, which we cannot afford right now. Oh, Oh, crikey, the weather has turned somewhat inclement. And the islands that were there are no longer there. How's the squid? Oh, there, the kraken's absolutely fine. Oh, there's, there's lightning. There's lightning. That's probably bad. That's probably very, very bad. Okay. Oh, dearie me. Uh, we are making some asphalt, though. We're completing one of our goals, which is good. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, we need that. Oh, no, we, we had a boat coming, didn't we? With all the building blocks on and the food stuff. I suspect that boat might not arrive around now. It's going to be a bit of a bit of an unpleasant boat ride, that one. Um, okay, right. How much was it to get the um, the turrety things in? Was it employee care? Where was the defence thing? Maintenance. There. 1,000. Do you know what? Let's do that. We'll unlock the defence tower. Yay! Security one is done. Right, where is a defence tower? What does that even look like? There. It's over there. We need 50 building blocks and 100 lubricants. Oh, crikey. Right, we need to start doing that as well, do we? How do we make lubricants? It's one of these. It's the little one. It's a small chemical plant. Produces lubricants, solid fuel, and asphalt. Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. I thought only the big building made asphalt. Oh, okay. Right, maybe we can build one of those then. A small chemical plant as well when we get the building blocks. But right now, we cannot do anything. We can just sit and watch the storm. The storm has passed and in comes our boat with all of our building block thingamajig is in, which is quite good. There we go, we got some money from a contract, which is very, very helpful. However, now it looks like are both of our contracts now up. No, that one's still ticking. Right, let's go back and give these guys quite a lot of stuff again, because that was really good. So um, yeah, gasoline, we make 424 per day. Why don't we give you 325. That'll make us a nice bit of monies per day. So yeah, there we go. 1,950 plus that. Um, yeah, we'll do that deal. Yes, please. We'll also sell those people some of that gas. Yep, absolutely. Right. So we've now got a bit of money. So how about then we build the, where was it? Defense tower. Was it there? Was that it? The defense tower. We need, oh no, right. No, we can't build that because we need this stuff, don't we? But in order to do that, we need another. We need some more people to work here because we've got we've maxed out our employees, so we can't get anybody working in the small chemical plant. Ah, crikey! So we need to go into the research thing and upgrade simple bedrooms. Then, so simple sleeping place for five employees. Building a yeah, so that'll be an upgrade. What's that do? So it gives a small bonus to employee work satisfaction. I don't really want that. That just gets gets us more employees. Let's just do that. There we go. So more employees. Yay. So increase the number of daily employees available to hire. Oh. Oh, no, no, not to hire. Oh, botherations. Okay, that might have been the wrong thing. <laughs> Never mind. Um, We'll get... I think we need to build another one of those quarters. I think we need to build another employee quarter somewhere. Uh, let's get that in. That's a social... Middle one of social buildings. Um, Four employees. Let's just put that there. You can live next door to the gigantic refining plant. Yay! Okay, they're very happy with that contract that's been done. Uh, Jack Torpedo is here. Hi, Jack. You thought I wouldn't notice an oil rig constructed on my waters. Uh, that was my pirate voice. Uh, didn't you, you sneaky... Ooh, crikey, you sneaky folks. Uh, but you can't fool me. Now you will pay tribute like everyone else on my waters will face the consequences. So we pay a thousand money... Or we deny his request. I think right now, let's pay him and we'll, we'll get him later. We'll build a, a, a nice array of shooty things and we'll take him down. But right now, I think we pay him his money. Just because, yeah, he otherwise he'll destroy stuff and it'll cause damage. So, yeah, all right. You've chosen to bend a knee to Mighty Jack. That's good. Everyone should know their place. See you in a few days. Sad but true. Okie dokie. But how do we repair these buildings? 
Do we need to send somebody to repair them? Um, we've already got a workshop. Are you not going out and doing your job? Are you not repairing things? Oh, no, look, it's being repaired. There's, there's a floaty spanner thing in the sky. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I do like that. That's very good. Okay, so now we can hire some more people, which is good. Unfortunately, Mr. Torpedo has caused a little bit of a problem with our um, with our bank balance. That's not helpful. Um, I think we can make a quick bit of money from selling that gasoline. So we'll do that. Yes, please. We'll get that done. And that means we can build the small chemical plant. So pop that in. Oh, we're on rig level five already. Okie dokie. Um, and then I think, yeah, we want to repair that. Oh, that's not got any power. Oh, botherations. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to upgrade that, which we can do. Have we got 600 money? Yeah, so we'll upgrade that, and then we'll just sit and leave things for now. Yeah, we've got the exact amount of power that we need. That is it. Although that's complaining it had no power. Oh, no, there you go. There you go. It, someone's plugged it in. Well done. You've plugged it in. It's got the right socket. It's switched on at the wall. Okay, good job. Uh, okay, let's, let's get ourselves another employee... To go and work in there. The power, it does seem to think it has no power. I don't know why it would think it has no power. I'm a bit confused about that. Um, okay, and let's go get another person that's good at that. Oh, there's not that many people that are good at that. Um, who's who's cheap? Mason Johansson. You can come along here and you can go into there on the day shift, Mason. Where are you? Oh, you're terrible at doing that stuff here. Okay, that'll do. You can go in there and work on the chemical plant. Splendid. So you can go and do... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's different. Oh, no, that's completely different. Oh, I've hired... Oh, no, hang on. No. Away. I've hired somebody who's not very good. Um, We'll have somebody in... We can get somebody else in. Because, yeah, we can put him into another job. We need to get somebody who's good at that. It's chemicals. Is anybody good at chemicals? Adrian. Adrian's brilliant at it. Adrian Short. In you come, Adrian. This is This is much better. There we go. And then, maybe into there, on the night shift, we can put Mason. There you go. Right. Everybody's got a job. We have some people on night shifts. It's all looking good. Okay, that contract is complete. And oh, what's that? When you want to sell to new, new resources to companies, unlock new contracts. Oh, how do we do this? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. We can unlock contracts, I guess, because we do have a certain level of reputation. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing that we could do. So we can go down here. We start at the bottom. Oh, no, it's money. OK, that's fine. So fuel oil. Yeah, we've got loads of fuel oil. Norway oil want to buy that. And yeah, we might as well. Or they want to hang on. Norway oil want to. Oh, that's a proper contract. And that's a quick contract. Well, let's do that. Yeah, we'll have a quick contract with them. And then if we go up to there. Oh, it's not appeared yet. Hang on, hang on. Okay, has it appeared now? Uh, where is it? Contracts. No, unfortunately not. Maybe it needs to uh, refresh every day. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, well, there we go. We'll sell that gas to make a quick buck. Um, okay, and then we need to do this one again. So the crude oil. Uh, I don't know, what did we put it on before? 300 or something? That'll do. Yeah, there we go. 300. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Fill your boots. Uh, yeah, we need another power thing. We need another power generator because that building looks a little bit like it's not properly powered, doesn't it? Um, okay, another gas generator can go in. We'll pop that right just there. And there we go. That thing now should be properly powered. And then let's get ourselves a defense thingamajigger. Let's not get ourselves a defense thingamajigger because we don't have the lubricants for it yet. We might need some storage for that. Let's try and slot a lubricants container in around that corner. Uh, and now we need some more building blocks. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. Building blocks. We've got enough ingredients. We've got enough meals. Let's just buy ourselves some building blocks. Let's buy 100 of them. Uh, yeah, please. Order that, please. That will be very nice. Deliver it really soon. Okay, and they have delivered them really soon. That was quite good. So they're already here. So we have our building blocks. I still don't think we have enough lubricants to actually get on with anything. So maybe, maybe we could hire another person that can do the chemically stuff. So yeah, advanced production. Um, no, I want them with that the chemical stuff. Where's that on there? Chemical production. There we go. Um, Nolan Adams. 
You're 67 to pay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Nolan, welcome. Come into here. You can do the night shift, Nolan. You're the only one without a job. There you go. You get here and you're immediately put to work because we want more of these lubricants. We need a defense cannon tower thingamajig just so we can fight off pirate thingamabob next time round because, yeah, we don't want him bullying us again. Okay, that contract is done. We will go and redo that contract. I can't remember what we did it for last time. Was it 300 or something? Something like that. That'll do. Yay. And there we go. Look, that the Norway people want to buy that fuel oil that's just sitting there doing nothing else. So yeah, absolutely, we'll do that. And you can have a bit of that gas. So that's wonderful. We've got 3,907 monies. That's very, very welcome indeed. Right, we need some more lubricants, but that's fine. We'll get there eventually. We've got the asphalt, so I think we've completed that. We've done that there. Produce and sell. Oh, we need to sell it. Um... Oh, Jack, come back and... Oh, I was just about... We're nearly building a thing. Do you know what? We'll pay him his money. I don't want him to destroy what we've built. We, we can get that back. We can get the money back. It's absolutely fine. Oh, I see what the game wants us to do. It wants us to work our way up through the contract street up here to then get to this thing up here where we can sell the asphalt to that Turlisk people. Okay, right. I see. I see what you're doing with that. Um, is that just a regular contract? Yes. Okay, well, let's get that one done. And then it's a thousand and then I guess it's going to be two thousand. So it might be a little while until we can get that done. Do you know what? We've not got that much money right now. We might be able, if those lubricants keep ticking up, if they go over a hundred, we might be able to. Yes, there we go. Let's have a look. See if we can get our defense tower thing in. Yes, defense tower. Where does it go? It just goes out in the it goes out in the sea, or does it attach to us somehow? Uh, I know it does it does attach to us. It doesn't go out in the sea. I thought it attached. I thought it went out in the sea somewhere, but no. So we can have a defense tower, um, just there. I don't know. That'll do. Do we need to put somebody in it? Press off. What? Press off to activate shooting mode. What? Where's that? I don't know what that means. Where? How do I activate a shooting mode? <laughs> What's that? Do I just fire at some stuff? don't know where that is how do i activate shooting mode oh no there there's a big there's a thing there oh so if we switch that on oh oh right it, it's it's a kind of gun shooty thing so i will then take on jack with that thing when he comes back we will shoot him with the big shooty gun tower ah oh okay that's quite fun okay yeah that's good that's good we'll, uh, we'll hope he comes back so we can gun him down Okay, we've been paid, so let's go through and just get rid of some of these things. So, uh, yep, yeah, you can have that gas. You want some of that heavy oil. We've maxed out on that for ages. So, yeah, we'll give, we'll give that away. And you want some of the solid fuel, which we're not yet generating. Uh, they're looking pretty good. Those are still ongoing. So, we've got 4,520. The sea level has risen somewhat worryingly again. Stay safe out there, employees. Uh, so... Let's get ourselves, let's go to the tech tree. Let's improve the employees' workplaces. So a small bonus to their satisfaction because I'm nice like that and I feel like we should look after them a bit. And um, and then, I think, what else do we need to do? What else do we need to do? We've got our gun tower for when for when Captain Bad Baddy Pirate Man attacks, whatever he's called. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, we need to get these then. So we'll buy that for a thousand and... Oh, crikey. We need to get those in as well and then get up to there. Ah, oh, this is really expensive. Okay, we'll buy that. Thanks. That's 1600 for that contract. Oh, my word. That's that's quite expensive. That's quite expensive. But have we got another contract here for the for F, fuel oil? Yeah, we generate loads of that. We don't do anything with it. How much fuel oil do we generate a day? Um, we produce 424. So our balance is 305. If we give you 250... That should be absolutely fine. And we'll make a bit of money on that. 250 of that per day. Yeah, for two days. Yeah, we'll make a bit of money on that. that that's certainly worth doing. Bring in all the cash. Ahaha, ah, right. Jack Torpedo is back and he is demanding some more money. But no, I'm going to deny your request. Okay, the, oh, you've unlocked the turret. However, I'm ready for a fight. Let's turn that on. Right, Jack, where are you? Let's not shoot our delivery boat. So we'll try and shoot you guys as best we can. Ouch! There you go. Oh, wait. We'll try and shoot ahead of them, look. Try and shoot ahead. Right, you guys, fire over there. Oh, no, you can't fire over there. Where else are they? Over there. So try and fire there. Oh, no. Okay, right. Oh, crikey. There's an awful lot of them. There's an awful lot of pirates. I didn't think there were quite that many pirates, if I'm completely honest. Hang on. Oh, that one's going down. That one's going down. That one is sinking. Okay, that's good news. Right, take you out. So, boom. 
Take you out if we can. Ah, oh, just behind him. Just behind. Hang on. Hang on. Fire in front of him so it lands. Boom. And again. Boom. Fire in the front of you. To take you out. Oh, this is quite fun. Okay, I wasn't expecting there to be sort of uh, pirate battles in this game, if I'm completely honest. Right, hang on. Come down here. I think they're done. Can we take them out? And arg. Right, you. I think you're, you're the last ones? Yes. See, you know. Oh, Jack. Jack pay. Uh, Jack wins. Oh, I was. I thought we just won. Oh, no, the workshop's been destroyed. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Can we blow that thing up in the sea? Can we destroy that thing? That'd be handy if it just went away. That would be nice. Um, we keep missing it because I'm a terrible shot. Does that does that blow up at all? Oh, I thought we defeated him then. We took down loads of his boats. Okay, never mind. We didn't defeat Jack Thingamajigs. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of money and we've done lots of trading and we've got lots of new contracts opening up. So we're working our way up to this. So let's now do this. So we can make a contract with Turilsk for 3,600 monies. So we need to open this up first. So there we go, so we've got that done. This should mean that when we go to the contracts thing, they should appear at the bottom and then we can make a little bit of a deal with them to sell off this stuff. So 75 per day is what we make for that. So how about we sell uh, 60? We'll just do 60, shall we? So yeah, 60 units of asphalt for three days. Absolutely. That'll make us quite a nice bit of money, which is very welcome. So um, so right, let's, let's just get time on nice and quick. I kind of think I, I want the pirate guy to come by again because I would like to see if we can beat him this time round. But also all we need to do is add a few little bits and bobs to our, to our little oil rig and then we'll get to level six and we'll kind of finish the game. But I kind of would like to have a battle first with evil pirate man. Okay, to give us a better chance against Mr. Pirate Man, I have put in another defense tower. Now, I don't know if that's going to make any difference. I don't know how that works. They both fire in the same direction. I don't know, but it's in. So we'll see if that helps. We'll give it a go. We'll see if he comes by and we'll have a bit of a battle. And hopefully this time with our double defense weaponry, we can take him down. We seemingly have quite a lot of money because I'm just sitting back waiting for the pirate guy to come in and we're just completing contracts and doing quick ones and whatever. So let's just upgrade to the gym. Yeah, there we go. We can get a gym. We'll get a gym upgrade. Yeah, thanks. We'll get the cinema upgrade. Why the heck not? So there we go. So our cinema is now going to be a little bit better. We still need 45 points. I think that's all the upgrades that we can do right now in employees care. Employees, I think we've not quite maxed out on what we can do, but I don't think we need to do any of this. And then, yeah, I mean, that's, that's done. Maintenance is done and production is almost done. It's almost done. It would be nice if we could just get everything researched. That would be very lovely. But yeah, we might be lacking money to do other stuff. Uh, okay, bit of a storm going on. Right, where's the pirate? Come on, pirate face. Show yourself. I am now ready to do battle with you. Yay, one of our goals is done. We have produced and sold 200 units of asphalt. That is wonderful news. Okay, so we've got one of those done. Right, here we go. Here he is. Right, deny his request. He is coming in. So, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow, slow time down. Oh, wait, hang on. It's, oh no, hang on, that's, that's, that's it there. Right, hang on. Slow time down nice and slow. We need to switch that on. Right, target this thing first. Hang on, time's got to go to normal because that's just painful. Right, back down to here. Right, oh, I'm a terrible shot. I'm a terrible shot against pirates, it would seem. Right, fire. Oh, they're really far away. Oh, there's so many pirates. There's so many pirates. All we need to do is get one good hit though because we're firing twice. So if we fire ahead of where he's going, we should be okay. Right, there we go. You hit me. Right, fire ahead, fire ahead, ba ba boom, fire ahead. Arg, he says. I suppose he is a he's a pirate and everything. Jack is defeated. Yes. Okay, there we go. Bounty for defeating Jack. Six hundred money and five reputation. Six thousand money. Another objective done. That is wonderful. He is sunk. Bye bye, Jack. Cheerio. And then I think. I think we just need to build something on here. I think we just need to build. I mean, maybe we could build the gym and that might be enough to give us the, um, oh, we can't build the gym. We haven't got any room to build the gym. <laughs> no. How can we build the gym? Where can the gym go? I don't know where the gym can fit. Uh, it seemingly can't. Okay. Can we build something? A bridge? Connects platforms. We haven't got any of those. Uh, any extra platforms. How can we build extra stuff? I want to build some extra stuff, but I don't know where it can, where it can go. Unless we, ah, wow, what have we got to do? Have we got to rejig these things? Hang on, hang on. Can we move things? That's the question. Hang on, come out of this. No, come out of that. Can we move, uh, yeah, escape, come out of that. Can we move existing buildings? Is that something that we can actually do or not? 
Oh no, we're still in firing mode. Turn firing mode off. Can we move these things? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. But we might need to move some of these things around. Right. Hang on a second. Right, let's just rejig the, the uh, oil rig a tiny little bit with our vast amounts of cash. Okay, so I've moved one of the power generators over there. We've got rid of the heavy oil sort of refinery storage thing. So now if we put in the small gym, is this going to be enough to put us up to level six? Oh, not quite. We just need 45 more points. But where are they going to come from? How do we get 45 more points? We're, we're full. There's nothing else for us to build. Oh, I wonder if it's linked to the building blocks. I wonder if it's linked to the building blocks. Right, hang on. Let's take that out for now. We'll take that out. We've got loads of money to repair it if we need to. So we'll pop that in there. Oh, is this a bit of rubble on the ground? Is that going to go away? Right, and then if we put in, say, this here, that's 50 building blocks. So if we drop that in, when that's complete, is that going to count that we've gone up to level six? No, we need 35 points. <laughs> Why did that give us 10? Why did that give us 10? I'm very confused as to what we need to do to get the last few points. Maybe we need that, the gas chemical plant. That might be quite a good thing. We've got loads of money, so we can do loads of research. Right, get rid of this. We're doing lots of blowing up of things. But there we go, right. A gas chemical plant, where is that? It's just there. Oh, we haven't got enough blocks for it. Right, hang on, let's order some more blocks. And the boat is here, and our blocks have arrived. Okay, so let's see if this is going to work. I don't really understand how we get the points into the thing, but there we go. We'll put that in and see what that does. So that's a gas chemical plant. We're back up to 45 points needed again. I don't I don't think we can fit anything else in. I'm not entirely sure how we can get up to our level six platform because th there's no room left. <laughs> I've, got, I've got no space. I can't put anything else in. I and mean, we could build a water purifier. We could just drop one of those in for the sake of having one. We've got the money for it and the stuff. Pop that in. Does that get us anything? That got us 10 points. Okay, does does a bridge section get us anywhere? D does that give us anything extra? What if we just did that? Does that do anything? No. Okay, I'm, I'm befuddled as to how we're supposed to get up to the final thing. <laughs> we've, we've built all the things that we can. Everything has been constructed. I don't know what else we're supposed to put in. Oh, I think loads of containers might actually help. Oh, I think we might need to put in three more containers. Have we got room to put in three containers? I think we might just have room to squeeze in a couple of containers into there. Okay, right. We need a load more building blocks. So let's order a lot more of those. Okay, building block deposited. So what don't we have? What haven't we got? Um, a water container because we've got a water purifier. So let's drop that in. Oh, and there we go. We just need to keep adding bits and bobs on to fill up all the space. And yeah, it turns out that the water container was enough. So there we go. So we've done all of the goals. We have upgraded the platform to level six. We've destroyed Jack Torpedo's ship. Yeah, it's like false start with that. But then we got there in the end and we have produced and sold 200 units of asphalt, which is brilliant. So there we go. Um, yeah, that was pretty successful. That was pretty good. For my first time running a deep sea oil rig, that was actually not too bad. Well, there we go. That was Drill Deal, and that was really good. I enjoyed that an awful lot. That was a lot of fun, and I think we will keep our eyes on this for when it gets updated, when it comes out of Alpha into Early Access or whatever it's doing. I think we might well pop back to this and have a little look, because I want to know what all the other sort of mission scenario conditions are, apart from Sandbox, obviously. But, like, these ones here, that one had that nice element of, you know, a pirate's going to come and get you. You need to defend against the pirate, but also you've got these other conditions. So, you know, what do these other ones do? What is blissful utopia what are the conditions for that and then a desert and then eco and north sea they all sound kind of interesting so i'd like to come back to it and just have another go on one of these other sort of uh, levels here just to see what we end up having to do and what the conditions are because yeah that's fun that's fun i really like that i like the way it looks it looks kind of you know nice and blocky and sort of fun but uh, yeah it plays quite nicely it plays very well it's quite a good challenge you've got to try and fit all the bits in onto the oil rig and take care of all the people and all that kind of stuff so yeah we might well see this again at some point in the future when it's become a little bit more developed and we've got a little bit more to play with but that was splendid fun so yeah we'll see it again at some point hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be very very lovely indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time <laughs> these people are eating the tables they're just devouring the tables they're so hungry there's no atmosphere at all. Were you sat in the car park? <laughs> Are you sure you came to the right place? Mine.
Knien Stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this. 